So in this problem, we're going to uh, looking at stuff from we'll call it section three um, with fluids in motion. We will rely on what's called the continuity equation, which basically looks like this: um, the area that a fluid, the surface area that a fluid passes flu through, multipli multiplied by its velocity of as it passes through that given surface area is equal to, of course, then the new surface area through which it passes multiplied by the new velocity which it has. Um, a picture that I had illustrated on the board was sort of like maybe a bottleneck uh, where the area we're talking about is sort of like if this were like maybe a cylinder uh, is the surface area of that cylinder which would be a um, you know pi r squared for that equation uh, multiplied by the rate through which it's passing past that point and then if we were to compare that at another point here's what we call maybe my area two uh, with its own respective new velocity we say that as you uh, increase the well as you uh, for, for a I guess maybe a flowing fluid in a container as you widen the area it should move slower when you constrict the area it should move faster. So we should expect to find a greater velocity um, in this case if we were solving for that compared to here. Let's consider the problem at hand. It says the flow rate of blood through the average human aorta is about 8.45 times 10 to the first let's get this on times 10 to the first uh, cubic centimeters per second if they if the aorta has a radius of one centimeter okay what is the velocity of the blood flow in centimeters per second so we want to know what the velocity is in terms of centimeters per second now while we're not necessarily going to directly use the continuity equation in this problem using dimensional analysis we can figure out what the velocity should be now we're gonna have to find the area and presumably the you know well since we're told a radius we're, we're talking about a surface area which is circular so pi r squared is our, gonna be our go-to equation uh, and if I do a real quick calculation we find that our surface area is going to be 3.14 meters squared because 1 squared is 1 and 3.14 times 1 is 3.14 so uh, this will be centimeters squared since that was 1 centimeter for our radius now if I have centimeters squared and I have centimeters cubed per second and I want something that has units of centimeters Per second for my answer using I don't know in chemistry you might have called it stoichiometry or factor labeling method times 10 to the first we have cubic centimeters on the top and we have seconds on the bottom I want to put this area on the bottom the reason I want to do that is so I get two of these to cross off on the top leaving me with just centimeters you'll see what I mean here 3.14 centimeters per sec centimeters cubed okay S yeah squared squared my bad uh, so that's our area if we have two centimeters down here three centimeters down here these two go away leaving me with one due to the multiplication so now we're in something whose units is centimeters per second so if I take you know 8.45 times 10 to the first and divide that by 3.14 I should arrive at my answer and in working that out we end up with a velocity of 26.9 centimeters per second so in this particular problem again we're not directly applying the continuity equation um, but knowing the the flow rate of the uh, blood through the aorta we're able to then sort of work backwards and figure that out if you look at this a1 v1 a2 v2 term the flow rate flow maybe this is something worth 
writing down. Flow rate is actually those terms, A times V. Okay, so when you see the word flow rate, we're talking about this quantity right here.